Hi, I'm Andre. Yesterday, Gemma and I were talking about roll, pitch and yaw. Because she's not quite clear which is which, we thought it would be worth doing a quick and simple recap video about it. For an unrestricted body in 3D space, it is commonly said that there are six degrees of freedom, three translation axes and three rotation axes. Translation is simply going forwards or backwards on X, left or right on Y, and up or down on Z, for instance. Rotation is the angular equivalent on each one of the three axes. In traditional aeronautics, these are called roll, pitch, and yaw. Traditional aircraft usually have the controls configured in a way where there is one control for each axis and they are fairly independent from each other. Paragliders, however, only have two brakes, one for each side of the wing, and this means we have to control three axes of rotation with only two inputs. I know this is a simplification, so bear with me. I'm assuming a static pilot and brake input only. I think that pitch is the most straightforward axis on a paraglider. When the brakes are pulled symmetrically, the wing pitches back. When released, it pitches forward. To keep the wing above you and avoid a frontal collapse, you may have to keep a little bit of brake on both sides. Roll and yaw, however, are somewhat connected and a bit harder to control. When the brakes are pulled asymmetrically, the wing yaws and rolls to the side where the brake input is largest. It is worth noting that usually roll follows yaw. This means that when an input is made, the wing first yaws to the input side and it's that yaw that causes it to roll. In fact, it's possible to have the wing rolled 45 degrees to the side, for example in a Cobra launch, and apply brake inputs in a way that the wing stays in that configuration. It's only when the wing yaws past the vertical that it starts to roll over the pilot to the opposite side. When on the ground, big fast inputs seem to produce a lot more yaw than roll, and small steady inputs produce more roll than yaw over time. I find it useful to think about these principles to better understand how my inputs influence the reactions of the wing. I'm not sure if this helps anyone else, but in case you were struggling in knowing your pitches from your yours like Gemma, I hope this little recap helps. I want to thank our sponsors, BGD and everyone on Patreon. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.